Dwayne Casey has been fired as Raptors head coach after seven seasons with the team. Now, guys, this may come as a shock to some people. Um, I'm shocked that they fired Casey because I think it's more of a of a personnel problem. Um, and I'm a little bit upset with Masai Ujiri, and I'm going to get into that. But, guys, stick with me as long as you can because I have a lot to say. We're going to go over um, Casey's tenure as a coach, the good, the bad, um, and uh, possible coaching replacements. And then, where do the Raptors go from here? Talk a little bit about Masai Ujiri and um, the, the pros and cons of what he's done um, up to this point and, and the task that he has ahead of him. So, let's get started first with um, the good of Dwayne Casey. Um, seven years as coach, five straight years in the playoffs, um, uh, coupled with um, the first ever Eastern Conference um, title this year. Last three years, franchise record in wins. Um, most this year with 59. Um, match the match the franchise record in consecutive wins with 11 um, this year. So, and then um, one conference finals appearance. All good things for Dwayne Casey. Now the bad, um, you know. This year, even though it was 59 wins, losses to teams like Dallas um, and New York, um, bottom, of, bottom of the barrel teams. Um, at times this season, again, even with 59 wins, defense looking like Swiss cheese, even though um, Twain Casey is a defensive-minded coach. And, and then getting swept the last two years in the playoffs um, by Cleveland. And just the way um, this season ended, the, uh, you know, I don't think Casey handled um, a lot of the, the matchups that Cleveland threw at them properly. And uh, benching DeMar DeRozan, you know, in game, in game three, probably should have been back in the, in the fourth quarter. But um, I, still, I still put that on um, DeMar DeRozan, too. You know, he needs to show up in the, in the playoffs. So it's not all... Um, Dwayne Casey's fault, and if you consider the 2016 team that made it into the conference finals, um, compared to the last two seasons, the 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 heart has already been ripped out of the, out of this team. Um, you know, not being able to retain guys like Bismack Biombo, James Johnson, and and I'll even say Patrick Patterson, um, gave you a loss of leadership. Um, of veteran voices, uh, and and most importantly, toughness and defense. Those were the two main things that Toronto was lacking, and Dwayne Casey paid the pr price for it. Now, possible replacements. Um, a lot of speculation about Becky Hammond, assistant for San Antonio Spurs, uh, becoming the first female head coach in the NBA, and possibly Raptor, the Raptors' next head coach. Um, personally, if you're going to go outside, I would go after a guy like Jawan, Jawan Howard or, um, dare I even say, Kevin Garnett. I know he's not liked in Toronto, but when you think of a guy that's going to bring a defensive and toughness mindset and build on what Coach Casey has already done, um, Kevin Garnett, the big ticket, is a guy that, um... I like, and he's a playoff performer. Hopefully, he would have a better um, influence on a guy like Demar Rosen, who is not known as a playoff performer. So, um, internally, um, best candidate is Jerry Stackhouse. Um, again, toughness, defense, um, he would bring that. But I think um, he'd be better as an assistant. Um, so you could let Rex Coleman or Nick Nurse take over. Um, so those are those are coaching options. Now, Masai Ujiri. Um, I have a problem with him now. He's in the hot seat, in my opinion, because even though he signed um, Kyle and Tamar multiple times, they now take up the majority of the cap space. Going into this season, um, the Raptors have... 
No, no free cap space unless they spend into the luxury tax, which I don't know if MLSC is going to like very much. Um, they haven't historically liked to do that. Um, and then um, you also have no draft picks. And then you have contracts that are going to be hard to move, like um, Norm Powell. $60 million over four years, it was something like that, after one good season. And this isn't the first time... Um, Masai Ujiri has done something like that. Let's remember Tamari Carroll. One good season in Atlanta. Um, got about 60 million bucks over a four-year, three or four-year stretch. Um, his tenure in Toronto, let me remind you, often injured when he did play, inconsistent, known, known for defense. They really didn't bring it to Toronto. After one, one season, got 60 million bucks. Now, that's why I'm mad at, at um, Masai Ujiri. I think he, he would be um, next to go. Um, you talk about a culture change last year and then fire, um, fire the coach after his most successful um, regular season to date. Now, I know regular season um, doesn't mean all that much, but if you don't play well in the regular season, you never get to the playoffs. Um, so, I have a hard time with Masai Ujiri now because, let me tell you, the worst is yet yet to come. Um, this is more of a, of a personnel problem, in my opinion. Um, especially the way DeMar DeRozan handled himself um, the last two games of this most recent playoff series. Um, and everybody forgets or doesn't want to put enough credit into, they were playing LeBron James. I mean, any team with him on it is going to be, you know, a Herculean task to beat, to beat them. Even with a better defensive, defensive team in 2016, the series only went um, six, six games. So... In closing, guys, um, Dwayne Casey, thank you for your time in Toronto. Um, you're getting off easy um, now that you're gone from Toronto because Toronto um, fans need to get, get ready for, um, you know, things to get a little bit worse before they can ever get better. Um, Dwayne Casey, you're going to have a job right away. Um, you're a great coach. And I can't personally thank you enough for what you've done um, in Toronto. Um, you've given me a reason to to um, like this team again and root for them, and I, I will continue to. Um, and, guys, tell me what you think down below. Hope you've stayed with me the entire um, video. Um, if you haven't done so already, slap that like button, comment down below, and subscribe. Um, tell me what you think of the firing and what do the Raptors need to do moving forward. Um, that they need they need to move some contracts. They need to make some trades. Um, like I say, they're gonna get worse before they get better. Um, see you in the next one.